If you were here last year this time, you know what the folks in South Carolina and North Carolina are feeling and going through getting ready for this. Hurricane Florence as of 11 o'clock, still category 4, 140 mile an hour winds and moving to the west northwest at 13 miles an hour. The pressure has come up a little bit. Uh, typically when the pressure goes down, it's an indication of intensification or strengthening. And when the pressure comes up a little bit, it could be a sign of weakening. But really the only few things that could weaken it at this point is what we call an eyewall replacement cycle where the, the, the small inner eye is replaced by a larger, weaker eye that then contracts around it. And Sometimes that causes some wind and pressure fluctuations. But that being said, there's the storm. It's growing in size, and that's not good news because it means it's covering more real estate when it reaches land. And it's headed towards land. In fact, here is the future track over the next several days. There's the Wednesday 8 p.m. time frame. Here's the Thursday 8 p.m. time frame. So it looks like a nighttime landfall, and you know how bad those are. It's dark. The storm is moving through. The winds are howling, and bad things are happening. And then Friday, Saturday, look at the time frame of how much it slows down. In fact, we can see that in a different version of the models. This is what we call the ensemble model. It's a bunch of uh, one model run a bunch of different times and you can see pretty good agreement coming to the northwest and this is through about Thursday evening and then watch what happens. All the models kind of start going different ways because the steering currents in the atmosphere, what's carrying Florence to the northwest suddenly collapses and all of a sudden the storm is forecast to meander around and because of that it looks like it's going to be a tremendous flood maker besides the threat for storm surge flooding and wind damage, there's going to be a potential for very much rainfall from freshwater flooding, and that's going to be a big problem over a foot of rain, possible parts of Virginia as well as North Carolina. There is Florence tonight. A little bit, a little bit eroded there on the southeast side, maybe a little bit of shear going on. There's Isaac there. There is Helene out there. Isaac has been kind of struggling this evening as well. Now down to a tropical storm, but just shy of a hurricane. The future track on Isaac is to the west. Be, should be near or at hurricane strength and then it's into the Caribbean there and of course we will have to watch Isaac can't rule Isaac out yet because the models tonight are once again uh, diverging a bit as it does move into the Caribbean.